Good morning on this week's Silent Witness. We're talking about three separate crimes all happening at Circle K's. This is one of the Circle K's uh, where one of the crimes took place. Uh, Sergeant Brian Bauer with the silent witness with us here this morning. So this is one of the locations yeah, out of the three. One, exactly. This is one out of the three. We're on Central Avenue and Dobbins right now. The other ones took place at uh, roughly 51st Avenue and Buckeye and then 36th uh, Avenue and Lower Buckeye as well. So it's all kind of in the West Valley, Southwest Valley, and we're looking for a suspect about uh, six foot tall, 200 pounds. Uh, he's wearing a mask. He's wearing a long shirt. So we don't really have a good physical description of him. Uh, we do have a very identifying tattoo on his right hand. It's like an infinity symbol. So please look at the, the photo. If anybody happens to recognize this individual, please call into Silent Witness and help us uh, pretty much take this criminal off the street. And Sergeant, uh, walk me through what happened with each of these crimes. You said they were pretty similar. Yeah, so we'll be able to see some of the surveillance cameras. All the, uh, the crimes are very similar. He comes into the Circle K, has a conversation with the, the front clerk. He then displays a gun from his pocket and starts demanding money, starts demanding some of the merchandise from the store. Uh, the clerk does exactly what they're supposed to do. They produce that uh, the money, the merchandise that he's demanding, gives it to him. Uh, the suspect leaves. We don't have a vehicle description. We don't have any kind of mode of transportation, so we don't know if it's around the corner. But again, that tattoo is going to be uh, sticking out like a, a, a sore thumb. And a weapon used? And yeah, so on all three of the cases, the, the handgun was produced from his pocket, so it's a black semi-automatic handgun that he was using. Uh, he doesn't really point it at the clerks as much, but he does pull it out of his pocket, uh, make sure that the clerk understands that he does have a gun and starts demanding property. Awesome. Sergeant, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Yeah, and good information about that tattoo. There is uh, some video, a photo of that as well, if you want to take a closer look at that. If you have any information, you're asked to call Silent Witness. Guys, we'll send it back to you.